One of the most familiar ways to get the most out of Perth's waterways is to make the crossing from Fremantle to Rottnest. Thousands of people visit the island each and every day and this is definitely one of those cases in which the journey is every bit as exciting as the destination. Taking the ferry is the fast, safe and reliable way to experience the thrill of boating as you make your way over to Rottnest. Now with Perth's newest Rottnest ferry service up and running and offering some really great deals, it's the perfect time to jump on board. I thought we might have missed you. Oh no, let's go, let's okay. go. Come on. Let's do it. It's been a while since we've seen a new operator on the Rottnest ferry scene. Departing from Fremantle's bee shed directly to Rottnest and return, Sealink represents not just a fresh new boat, we've taken on board a very different tack and customer service as well. If you've got children, you'll appreciate that getting to Rottnest can be a bit of a drain on the holiday budget. Wait for this. Lily, how much was your ticket today? Free. Free, correct. As is the Wi-Fi. Just don't tell the children. Find yourself a spot on one of the decks and enjoy the ride. It's actually pretty smooth. It is. It's rough, but this boat is lovely. We're doing okay. So now we're out of the heads there at Fremantle. It's about a 25 minute journey over to Rottnest. It's 19 kilometres, right? Yeah. Yeah. And bizarrely, some people actually swim that oh, distance. Maniacs. <laughs> I much prefer the party at the other end myself. I agree with that. But you know what? Why wait? Because downstairs come. Downstairs, there's a beautiful cafe. I could get us chips. Do it. And yeah. I'm going to go see the captain and say hi. Do it. See you in a minute. 35 metres long and with a top speed of 25 knots, as Chrissy said, this is the newest ferry to Rottnest in years, brimming with features that make for a smoother, more enjoyable ride. What is it that makes this ferry so comfortable? Well, we have a Humphrey stabilisation system. It makes us, uh, levels out the boat and, and makes it a whole lot more comfortable. This prevents everybody from getting seasick, so it's really quite, quite good. I've also noticed it's one of the most accessible ways to get to Rottnest. Yeah, it is. It's a really super wide boat. We uh, hold 400 people. Yeah. Uh, back at O'Connor Landing, we have a, a ramp, so a lot of access for everybody. Bikes, wheelchairs, everything. Why is everyone so happy? Is this a good boat to work on? I think we all had lots of sleep last night, so <laughs> no, we always like, endeavour to have a lot of fun on the boat every day, so it's a great all right, what did I miss? Oh, seriously, free icy poles oh. for the kids. They've done some very good research at ceiling. No, I think so. How about mm. the big kids? Yeah, yeah how about the big yeah. kids? <laughs> <laughs> Keep an ear out for the commentary and feel free to discuss holiday plans and tips with the staff. They're all particularly passionate about Perth's holiday island and be warned, most of them will only stop talking about it when it's time to secure the vessel at the ferry and pull out the walkway.